Hello, fellow collectors. Today we're going to be talking about DC Comics Icons Green Lantern. Now this is Green Lantern in a little bit different than you've seen him before because this guy has a huge construct. Nor normally you get a blast or you get a hand like he comes with, you know, and it is definitely detailed and very nice and fits onto his hand. So you just push it on right like this, you know, and it just fits there. And he comes with a lantern, which is nice, very cool, very standard. The top of it, though, comes with the Green Lantern icon. He comes with two hands. Right one has a ring on it, if I can get it to focus here. And then he has a left one here. Now, as far as Green Lantern is concerned, he definitely is uh, a little bit short. I mean, he's coming in right at six and one eighth. So, I mean, he's shorter than the DC Universe classic figures. Here he is with Sodom yet. You can see that Sodom is much taller than he is. And that was one of the reasons that plagued the DC Icons line. But these figures are great as far as articulation goes and the level of detail. That's probably why they didn't last long on the shelves. They were highly sought after. However, newer figures and the fact that these guys are so much smaller kind of killed the line. It was only really just one big wave. But they did give us some very, very good figures. So, Green Lantern Hal Jordan can look right, left, a little bit down, a little bit up. Now, he has this armor here, but you can get it to a nice T-pose. Arms do rotate around. Bicep swivel, double bend in the elbow, wrist rotation plus a glove rotation here. Now the glove is on a ball, I'm sorry, a peg hinge. So you can just pull it out and just replace it with one of the other hands. Now as far as ab crunch goes, he's got a pretty good back and forward. He can swivel up here on the top ab crunch. No real waist swivel though. He does a great split. Forward and back motion is just a little limited, but he does have a double bend in the knee, a rotation at the boot, and a peg hinge on the ankle that goes forward and back and side to side. He also has a hole on each foot for stands. Now, when I say he has a large construct, he has an armor that he can put on. If you remember in the movie, when Green Lantern donned his armor to fight Parallax, it was something like this. So it comes with these boots here. And the armor does split apart so you can fit Hal Jordan in. And there is a right and a left. Now this foot does allow for movement forward and back. And once you put it on, it just simply fits on his leg. So you just slide it in and put it on. And that's it, right? Now his leg, next part comes in the thigh. And here it is. And you just simply just pull it apart. Get your thumbnail in there and pull it and it has a forward and back you can tell that just by the way it sits on the figure so you can see does that look right now so it goes on the front like that so it's easy to tell once you start putting it on how it should go because the arm 
is the legs and the arms. They still want to move. So you can get them on and things like that. Now, as far as the arm parts go, they simply just clip on and cover up his arms just like that. And they go around that the big old bicep he's got there, you know, because he was an airplane fighter pilot. So he's got to maintain his upper body strength. Now, for the arms, you just pull them off. And then you take these parts right here and plug them in. You see them right here. It's a nice little gun. And that's all you do. You just sit there and plug it in. And there you go. Now for the mid piece here. It does simply just go around his body. He has these for his shoulder. And this just goes underneath his midsection and then this folds over his head so it's easy to just put them in here and just fasten it on so let's go ahead and get them armored up and we'll take a look at them okay here he is in his fully assembled form now like i say just be careful of these pieces they do tend to come off easy they do snap on together around those bits and pieces as I was showing you and uh, just want to say you know whenever you're putting this together just be careful this figure does have some faults it is made of this clear plastic so once it breaks it will break off and you do get these pieces that just don't look right glued back on but as far as articulation goes he can still use his base functionality forward and backs on the leg side out bends in the knees still there he has a little bit of articulation in the the legs or the uh, ankles still the arms can still move up forward bend rotate around do all that stuff you can't really do anything with the head the ab crunch pretty much is blocked by the armor but overall it still maintains a pretty good pose ability and you'll see i just touched it and it came loose so over time yeah this figure can become very dangerous to handle but it's nice these flow up and these rotate around and, and you can do different things definitely wish it's as with all the icons it was just a little bit taller than it would fit in more with the other dc universe and dc figures so remember, this guy is secondary market, so shop around, like, subscribe, and keep collecting.